What is up you guys? Thank you for tuning. Whoa, 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 whoa. You guys know I don't start my videos like that, man. <laughs> so, today is a special day and not because it's Christmas. It's because yesterday in the mail, I got, boom, these upper control arms. These are the JZX100 upper control arms and these aren't just any normal upper control arms though. These have adjustable ball joints so I could, you know, slide the ball joints forward or back and that'll adjust the camera for me. So, you know, these are like stock but yet I can still adjust them, which is like super cool because you know, nothing beats stock, right? <laughs> but yeah, man, today we're gonna be throwing these on and hopefully if everything goes well, we'll be able to actually fit the wheels on too. Um, alongside throwing these arms on, I'm also gonna try to raise the car just a little bit, uh, just so it could clear, especially the back, because I know those back wheels, they are not gonna clear. So I have to raise up the back a little bit. I know I'm most likely gonna have to roll the fenders, but I really don't want to, but it looks like I might have to. As you guys know, this install is pretty simple. Uh, well, it should be pretty simple, but you guys know me. All it is, is we gotta remove this castle nut right here. Then we're gonna probably have to hit this with a hammer so the steering knuckle could pop out. And then after that, there's two bolts that are up here. One right there, and then one on the other side right there. And after that, the upper control arms should come out. This is my first time doing this, so you guys gotta bear with me. But it's pretty straightforward, man. I don't see how I can mess this up. But like I said, it's VT Bobby, so anything's possible. But let's get into this. All right, so first step is to remove that castle nut. And I think it's a 17. Uh, could be a 14. But damn, these Harbor Freight sockets, man. Freaking crazy to take out. It's a 17, so let's take that out. Really? You know, it's really nice to have tools. So you don't really got to worry about if you have the right tools for certain jobs and stuff. Easy as that. Oh, yeah, my. I've been needing to swap these out. My bushings are done. <laughs> the freaking ball joints are done. <laughs> All right. So usually when it comes to removing these things, uh, it's not easy. I mean, sometimes you might get lucky and then the knuckle over here just falls out from the ball joint. But most of the time, it is not that easy. And you're going to have to grab a hammer and hit it so it can pop out. So we need to get that hammer, Jerry. What is the hammer? It's in the yellow bag right there. All right, so we finally got this side loose. That was freaking crazy. Uh, the other side, we got it loose by just a few, you know, solid hits with the hammer. But this one was really stuck, I guess, because the ball joint was that bad. And what I had to do is I used the scissor jack to basically push the stud up and then hit it with the hammer and then it finally popped out. Man, that was crazy. <laughs> All right, let's continue. So now that we have that out, it's time to get these two bolts right here out. I think it's a, what's it called? I think it's a 14. Should be a 14. So let's get those out. All right, we got both of the bolts out. Now we should be able to just pull this sucker out. There you have it. Upper control arm is out. Whew. Hurt my back. I thought that does sound gonna be way easier. As you can see, the JZX arm is shorter than the IS arm and they're the same width which means it'll fit in the is chassis perfect and it'll you know give you a little bit of camber well it'll give you seven degrees of camber i think when you lower it and with these bushings that i have i'm going to be able to adjust that so yeah i think this was a great buy <laughs> now let's pop this baby in all right so here we are we have the first upper control arm in 
it was a pain to get these back bolts in but we got it done as you guys can see it's dark outside and i'm tired so i'm just gonna knock the other one out and then i'll get back to you guys and i guess show you guys how everything fits i gotta get a freaking cotter pin though so i could put through this but i'm gonna get it tomorrow at work but yeah that's how you install upper control arms <laughs> look at how bad the bushings were look at this you're not supposed to be able to do this at all now look at the jzx arms can't even move them that's how it's supposed to be look at this <laughs> yeah so these were just done all right so it's a new day last time we were here um we were doing the upper control arms now i do have both of the upper control arms installed here is the right side here is and here is the left side all the way in there but as you guys can see with the car up on jack stands look at this gap right here right this is like this is like a three finger gap right here right over here is a four finger gap this is how i want it right because when this is on the floor this sits perfect there's no rubbing no touching no anything the reason why it's like that is because i was able to adjust this coilover but when it came to this side the freaking the coilover wasn't moving only the spring was moving which you don't want to do so what i'm guessing is that there's so much dirt and stuff inside there that is sort of seized i guess so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking off this coilover and I'm going to take all the measurements off of the one on that side and match it to this one. And I think the same thing is for the rear. I don't think I'm going to be able to adjust it like normal. So I'm going to be taking the rear coils off too and I'm going to adjust all of them so we could get this car even. All right, so I got the coil out. It was actually easier than I thought. Um, for some reason, I thought that, you know, taking out the coil is always a pain. But then again, this is my first time taking it out ever since I put it in, so yeah. Got it out, and I tried twisting the you know bottom piece off, and it was not budging. And I looked around, and I don't have any kind of WD-40. So I'm gonna run over to AutoZone right now and grab some WD-40 and see if we could loosen this thing up. Believe it or not, you guys, this is about like an hour and a half later, man. And I did that thing where I get super frustrated and I forget to film and i'm just in work mode and i just knock it out <laughs> well i didn't just knock it out because that thing took forever man so basically what i'm talking about is the coilover was freaking seized and i don't know how it got seized because eventually when i did break it free all of the threads were clean there was not even a speck of dirt so i'm guessing what happened is because my coilovers were actually maxed out so i'm guessing when i maxed it out i think it just created a seal where it was just hard to break loose and that's what happened because there was no dirt no rust no nothing in the threads all i know is i finally got it off and yeah this is not me i don't know where this came from but that's not me <laughs> my car was inside the garage all night but yeah so i finally got the coil over to break loose so i adjusted it to match that side so theoretically when i put the wheels back on both of the sides should match um right now before i put the wheels on and then start with the back what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna delete my freaking water reservoir the windshield washer reservoir because i don't need it and it's sort of in the way that wheel rubs against it a little bit when i turn and i think it probably even makes contact while i'm driving too so i'm just gonna delete that because i don't need it it's not even connected as you can see that hose is cut so yeah i'm gonna get that out of there all right we got it out and yeah this is basically useless because this was cut there's a hole busted through it which i don't know how that happened i mean it was like that when i got the car but yeah i don't need this this trash we managed to get the passenger rear coilover off and we adjusted it and by we i mean jerry he took so long to come outside because he was inside playing 2k all right i'm a 90 overall and he didn't care about nothing <laughs> but yeah we got him off we adjusted the coilovers so all the coilovers should be even with each other let me show you guys what the car looks like the car is not on the floor yet but let me show you guys what the car looks like with all the wheels on so bam there she is as you can see i think it's pretty clean 
if I do say so myself. And sorry, I'm freaking talking like this. I'm just tired. <laughs> so, but yeah, there it is. All wheels on. That's crazy. So right now, I'm just gonna lower it, and then we're gonna see how the baby looks like. Um, it's not gonna be driving this way. <laughs> If anything, I did, I put these on for no reason because I know it's going to be rubbing, but I just wanted to see what the car looks like with everything on the floor. So yeah, just going to lower it and then we'll see what the car looks like. Car is on the floor. I'm seeing it on all four wheels and I got to say the wheels do look really, really nice on this car. The only thing that I got to say is that uh, I went a little overboard with raising the front. <laughs> I think it's because I tightened up the spring because what I did when I first got these coils No, when I first got the white wheels that I had on here to like try to get them to fit when I was lowering the car uh, I messed around and messed with the spring with the spring load, you know And that caused the spring to be a little loose So I guess that when I did that because the spring wasn't tight I guess the car would just you know rest on the spring and there was no tension so the car would stay lower now i added tension to the spring and i don't know if it's gonna harm my car in any way but i guess we'll find out i didn't know much about coils back then but now i do so yeah i tightened up the spring and i put them both at the same level i guess now the front suspension is, is like a little bit more stiff so it's not you know settling anymore but yeah the car is sitting nice but the front is sitting way too high but let me just show you guys and there she goes oh man my freaking battery is dead <laughs> but there she goes the car with the wheels on the car doesn't really do it justice yet because the paint is everywhere so oh, i got white then silver then thundercloud and then the freaking um whatever it's called the space gray so the paint doesn't really do the wheels justice just yet but trust me it will this is looking clean as hell man yeah so like i said the front is sitting way too high like bro the front is on monster truck status right now the back though bro <laughs> the back yo i nailed it i nailed it bro that's crazy all i have to do is just you know roll it a little bit to pull the fender away from the tire a little bit more just to be just to be on the safe side because since i raised the rear it doesn't have as much camber as it did before but there still is a little bit of camber and once i throw on my adjustable arms there's going to be absolutely no camber so that's why i have to pull the fenders away a little bit but other than that man the rear is sitting nice as hell like real nice <laughs> that is wild bro that is wild fitment is on point that's exactly why i said i didn't really want the cosmos because they didn't have the exact size wheels that i wanted but look at this this is flush in the back man this is exactly what i wanted this is nice as hell man i'm so happy that i went with this size wheel and that i went with this company because it just fits perfect front is just way too high but i'm gonna adjust that like yo the front is on like real like monster truck status right now <laughs> yeah but fronts that has to be adjusted but other than that man everything else is good yo the rear man i'm super happy with how the rear came out the rear looks perfect that's crazy Whew. but yeah man there you guys have it the wheels are on the car i still do not regret going with these wheels you know a lot of people they just keep on saying why didn't you go with the cosmos why didn't you go with the cosmos and my response is always were you gonna buy them for me <laughs> it's not even that i couldn't afford the cosmos i could have they're only i think 200 dollars more than these so i could have afforded the freaking cosmos wheels but i just did not want them because just the size i wanted the perfect size and i got it so that's all that matters all right so i just realized that i was about to end the video without showing you guys what the jzx 100 arms actually did for the camber to the is 300 and this was mainly what the video was about besides the wheels but yeah i was just about to end the video and to be honest the last part that you guys seen that was filmed probably a week ago so bro i almost fell oh shoot i almost fell again okay i'm good <laughs> but yeah so <laughs> I almost forgot to show you guys how the car looks and how it's sitting because I did readjust the coilovers in the front So everything is sitting nice now um, The rear I actually took the tires that I had on the rear off and I sold them because the tires in the rear were just way too big So I sold those and I threw on some 235 45 18 those are only temporary Those are only a set of Michelin's but I'm gonna be ordering another pair of federal tires that are gonna be 225 40 r18 which is exactly the same as the front so that way i'm gonna have a square setup 
and if I want to rotate tires I could actually rotate tires again and I feel like it's gonna allow me to lower the car so the car will be sitting better and now I'm doing this inside of the garage because my neighbor is outside with the pressure washer uh, this man is always outside doing something man it's like bro I thought I was bad but him every day he's outside doing something making some sort of racket and it's loud as hell out there I'm sure you guys could probably hear it but yeah if I do it outside you guys won't be able to hear nothing so that's why I'm forced to show you guys inside here but let me show you guys yeah so these are some Michelin primacies the rear is sitting a little bit lower and I have a little bit more space it still rubs though uh, a little bit when I hit bumps but that's it this fits better than the 245 45s this is 235 45 but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a 225 40 a 225 40 which is the same as the front so now let me show you guys what the front's looking like bam look at that see that camper <laughs> yeah man the front is sitting nice i like the fitment that i have going on it was actually way too low the first time i dropped it and then i actually took it to work and i readjusted it raised it up a little bit and now we have the perfect fitment for the front um, I'm sorry that this is the only angle that I can show you guys as you can see the top is flush then it kicks out at the bottom and Yeah, I like it Give you guys another angle to see how it looks from the rear See that But yeah, so I still have the rear camber arms and toe arms to install uh, That should be done in the next couple of days and I have to go back to my job and get an alignment um, What else? Oh, yeah, I got my new Q speed shift knob so now I have the black and red one, and I think it looks cool with the interior. But other than that, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, there's a whole bunch of other stuff to come to this car. And this is actually my first video in 2019, so I want to wish everybody a happy new year. I want to wish all my Haitians a happy Independence Day, because our Independence Day is January 1st. And yeah, I sort of missed that. And yeah, I have a whole bunch of stuff that's going to be coming this year. I plan on killing it this year. I got to stay more focused. Last year, I wanted to do a lot, but it's just that I wasn't focused enough. That's my main problem. I get distracted really easy, and once I'm distracted, I'm gone. So that's the plan for this year. I'm trying to stay focused, and I just got to put in work. I got to grind, you know? I don't want to be a regular old guy that has a 9 to 5 that's not really doing much. I actually want to do something, man. I want to get out there and do stuff. So hopefully, I can get everything that I want to accomplish accomplished in 2019 because that's what I'm really striving for, man. Like, all of my goals, like, well, my short-term goals, I want all of them to be realized in 2019. So that's what I'm pushing for. But other than that, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys for the next one. I'm out. Easy. Girl, I used to do it. Told me niggas ain't shit. Probably she was used to fucking with all of them counterfeits. I'm cut from a different cloth. Mine be cashmere. So I adhere to what niggas would call surreal. That's getting chips. No poker game. Making boss moves like Dame. Dash past the niggas that's in it just for the fame. I want to get the checks and be the GOAT. No billing.